many of you know me, and those of you that do know that I've always been horrible with technology. In junior high, I opposed him with an iron fist. I would have nothing to do with computers or the internet. And to me, it was I viewed it kind of just as a mere game for wasting time, and I didn't really understand it. And in not understanding it, I think I may have feared it a little bit. But there was only so much covered in a class, and very little focus was given to my main interest, especially, which is mainly military history. So discovering the internet slowly over time was like the biggest epiphany of my life, because suddenly, you know, there's this big world of information out there. I'd never known much history other than U.S. history, except for World War II, which my dad had been the main teacher. So finally, it's like the world was bigger than just the United States. There was other countries out there. Um, coming to high school where the internet's not only convenient but mandatory, I've actually gotten more into the internet and come about around 180 degrees towards technology and education. So it's no longer just a game for wasting time. It's like a vast sea of knowledge that, yes, it is dangerous to dive full into, but you, know, you can kind of get your toes wet and just get the information that you need out of it. So I've come to believe that we should switch completely to paperless in schools with the technology. So, Although technology has helped students to learn more in less time, there are people who are still opposed to it. Students agree, most students agree that technology benefits their education, but those opposed to it say that technology is unreliable and uncontrollable and hampers learning and that it can even be dangerous. So those who are opposed to it say in their defense that education with technology provides distractions, some access to inappropriate websites, and gives you access to cyber stalkers. And children, especially really young children, are more prone to stumbling accidentally upon inappropriate sites and scarring their innocent little minds. And they don't know how to react to cyber stalkers, so they're more, you know, they're more exposed to that. So another thing that they say is that teachers will be replaced by computers and will therefore lose their jobs with all the information on technology students won't even have to come to school, they can just learn at home, and the teachers and the janitors and principals and everybody will be out of a job. But I believe that people who you know, still think this way are kind of like I used to be. They're just uneducated in the matter, and because they don't understand it, they just kind of fear it a little bit. They don't want to change. But to face the facts, that technology actually is helping people. We all know inappropriate sites and games can be blocked or filtered, as we all know too well times we get frustrated with it. And teachers can monitor sites, what sites students are on, and make sure that they stay focused and stay where they're supposed to be. Which, again, we kind of consider a pain in the butt. But with this risk of cyber stalkers, because it does exist, it can actually provide, it can actually be a benefit being exposed to cyber stalkers because it gives a motivation to teach us how to avoid and prevent those situations. And if we do end up in that situation, what to do about it. You know, our entire world's run by the internet, so we need to learn how to protect ourselves from this. With the internet, teachers can individualize lessons and make sure that nobody falls behind. So if there's a student who's you know, not getting the lesson, they can assign maybe a couple more assignments or give them some more sites to go to so that they understand it better. And especially for us people bound for college, technology is a lot less expensive than all of the books, and it can hold entire libraries and then some. So that saves us a lot of money. Contrary to popular belief, teachers will not be replaced by technology. There is a human aspect to it, and shown that students actually learn better when the teachers engage them in learning together with, you know, through chat rooms and online things. So people need to learn to accept that technology is useful to our education and not harmful. It can be controlled with blocks and filters. And technology can help the shy students to socialize and work, um, get the class to work together better. Technology can give an excuse to teach children about cyber stalkers and other dangers. So with new danger comes new solutions and the reason to prevent it. And technology and the internet are not just toys or risks only for adults. There are crucial parts of the education system used, that can be used to the maximum to educate students not to deter them from it. So maybe the switch will happen for us, but if we stand up now and kind of push for it, maybe our children will have access to a better education than we could ever have imagined.
when did you decide like that computers were beneficial for everyone? Was it in high school? Or yes, it would have been in high school. Freshman year was when I really got you know exposed to internet on a major scale. So that's when I kind of realized maybe this isn't so bad. But then probably like as progressing throughout high school, kind of coming to that realization that. We've got all this information. Why not use it? Good to those guys. Is cyber stalking a huge issue within schools and? I don't know if it's like huge within schools because you don't hear about it too much. But then again, we don't go full on technology. But I do know that it is out there, and you know, especially with you know teenagers and everything, you know, it can kind of be a danger. Out there.